Welcome to the Superbook Show. And today we're talking about... Superman versus Spider-Man. Oh, okay then. If we're talking favorites, then we have a conversation. But if we're talking about who would win in a fight, sorry, but no discussion needed. Superman, no-brainer. But that's not the question. What is? Which one I should go as for Halloween trick-or-treating? No-brainer. Spider-Man, what if it's cold and your mom asks you to wear a coat? Coat on? You're not Superman. You're just a guy with a girl. Oh, and even with the coat on, Spider-Man, still Spider-Man. Good call. But what are you going as? I'm not. You're not wearing a costume for trick-or-treating? I'm not going trick-or-treating. My family doesn't do Halloween. I didn't know that. Halloween is all about death and skeletons and ghosts, and as Christians, that's just not the kind of thing we celebrate. Did you know that it started as a pagan holiday? Yep, the Celtic practice of Sowen, a three-day pagan festival. The Celts believed that the souls of the dead could come and walk the earth. Like I said, icky. The church put their celebration of Christian martyrs right in the middle of Sowen, hoping that it would replace the pagan rituals. But instead, they kind of merged, making Halloween or All Hallows Eve the night before. You do know about Halloween. My parents insist that if we're doing Halloween stuff, we should know what it means. My mom makes a big teaching moment out of it. How so? Before we go out, we all list the scariest things we can about Halloween. But then my mom explains to us that no matter what the scary thing is, Jesus has us covered. Psalms, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Yep, and also from 1 John, children, you belong to God. You have defeated these enemies. God's spirit is in you and is more powerful than the one that is in the world. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> then we go trick-or-treating, followed by reverse trick-or-treating. Reverse? Like you walk backwards? <laughs> No, we go to the senior center, you know, places where people are shut in, go door to door, show off our costumes, and give them our candy. You give away all your candy? More like half, oh. not that generous. But, but now I feel bad that you can't go trick or treating. Oh, don't, our church has a harvest festival instead. There's big bounce houses and fun carnival games with prizes and s'mores made over a campfire. Wow, that sounds fun. It's a blast. Can I come? Absolutely. <laughs> And then you can come trick-or-treating with me. Thanks, but no thanks. I respect that your family is finding ways to honor Jesus through Halloween, but I just don't think it's worth messing around with all that darkness. That's very responsible of you. Hey, you know who else is responsible? Uh... Spider-Man! With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely getting a Spider-Man costume. His word is forever alive. There's no agreed upon way to approach Halloween. The important thing is that whatever you do, do it to honor God. One thing we can agree on, you should like this video and subscribe. Download our Bible app or head over to superbook.cbn.com for more insightful teachings and videos and games. See you guys next time.